Laser equipment is quite common in today's society, ranging from the CD drive in everyday computers to laser cutting machines used in production and processing. This great invention of lasers has completely integrated into human life. However, since its inception, the concept of lasers as weapons has been endless. The Soviet Union developed the world's first laser pistol. The original intention of developing laser guns was mainly because conventional weapons were not suitable for use in space. The recoil and toxic waste gases produced by conventional firearms are fatal in space. Therefore, in addition to developing conventional space cannons in the 1960s and 1970s, the Soviet Union was also developing laser weapons. First, let's briefly introduce laser weapons. They are similar to the laser devices used in daily life. Essentially, laser weapons are just more powerful laser devices. A laser device creates a pure and stable light spectrum. Of course, this light is much stronger than sunlight or LED lights. In theory, as long as the power is sufficient, it can easily burn through thick steel plates at long distances. The problem lies in how to improve the efficiency of laser devices and make the laser emitted reach weapon grade level. This is the real challenge. The working principle of laser devices is complex, and there are various types. In general, a laser device consists of an excitation source and a working medium with metastable energy levels. The former achieves the excited state in its own way, and the latter amplifies the energy to a certain power. Usually, there is also a resonator after the working medium. This device is used to make the laser directional and coherent, so as to achieve the point and shoot effect. The Soviet Union began developing laser pistols in the late 1960s. The research unit was the Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, led by Major General Viktor Sulevitz. This laser pistol is small in size, similar in size and appearance to a regular handgun. Its bullets are cylindrical excitation sources with a diameter of 10 millimeters. There is a tungsten rhenium wire at the center of the bullet. With the principle of a flash lamp, the bullet contains a certain amount of oxygen and magnesium powder, and the excitation source is ignited by an electric spark. When excited, the bullet can instantly generate a high temperature of about 5000 K and emit light for 5 to 10 milliseconds. The light from the excitation source forms a lethal laser through the medium and structure of the yttrium aluminum garnet crystal in front. This laser is not as powerful as the ones in movies. Its effective range is only about 20 meters, and it can only cause blindness or burn the skin. The magazine can hold 8 bullets, and each shot will eject the discarded excitation tube. There is a bolt-like structure on the top of the firearm, which should be used for manual loading and ejection of shells. This gun was originally planned to be put into use in 1984, but its performance was not impressive. It is said that it has never been used in space. According to some information, the efficiency of ruby lasers in the 1960s and 1970s was very low, less than 6%. This was also due to the technological limitations of that era. Laser pistols could not meet the requirements of compact size and power, just like a high-tech flashlight. On the other hand, the imagined Star Wars never actually happened. Instead, astronauts often face situations of being alone in the wilderness when returning to Earth, where the damage from wild animals and the need for necessary hunting are the most practical. Therefore, astronauts carrying conventional firearms into space became the norm. As for laser guns and the like, that's a topic for another time. Based on various known technical data and scientific research, although some experimental achievements have been made in laser weapons, such as being able to continuously irradiate and destroy target aircraft, they are still far from practical use, let alone miniaturizing laser weapons to the size of handguns.